Good morning, folks. A touch of inspiration to start the day from Thomas Ashcraft. These are always good for a jump. And relevant today is Hubble's also reporting a long-term breakup of P-2013R3. They've got articles, pics, and a video of the breakup. I've linked it for you below. Today's top story, magnetic loops, just like we see coming off the sun, extend from accretion disks and are responsible for a lot of the energy previously unaccounted for in those young systems. This was the Indian Ocean buoy plot three days ago. Now, we see double the coverage in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. Africa may be hard to make out in the background, but they've been having a tremendous storm system come through from the southeast and cutting up north. We have catastrophic flooding in South Africa, and at least 10 people were killed by enormous hail in the Congo. Going to our top watcher locations, heavy rain lingering in isolated zones to the north here. The major convergences are giving you guys a break, but the moisture and precipitation vapor still exists up north. In the US, you see multiple convergences from multiple lows. Purple low, white high complementing the central drive between them. Got some freezing rain potential in parts of the east, normal system through the center, and a beast in the Pacific. Europe tells a new story today. The convergence in major cloud lines still treks over just a bit of the region, but the story is that the stuck North Atlantic lows are shifting into the Arctic Circle. Why is this relevant? Well, we've watched the major grouping funnel air over long distances around the cell. And here, we see that drive pushing air from warmer waters directly into the polar zone. The wind power reveals how the strongest aspect of that drive, on the leading east edge, is the strongest, and the temperature overlay shows just how far north the heat is going. Melt watch, folks. Sunspot analysis. Starting, departing, and the only complexity is furthest turned. The northern group is smaller but with such potential if it ever decides to grow. Meanwhile the incoming spots appear young and ready to move around, not yet complex enough for big flaring though. Not that anything on the earth facing disk is flaring, we also do not have any space weather. All is calm. However, the corona hole stream from the dark openings is set on its way to earth, and the next one is already coming in behind it. The power is not as strong as the southern departer, but it is solid and more equatorial, almost in a position for its interplanetary magnetic field to affect Earth directly. We did have an eruption yesterday, but it was filamentary as expected, not a solar flare. She destabilized and did a half splash, half ejection. The CME is visible on Soho Lasco, both the C2 and C3 with the cloud heading away from Earth to the bottom left. If you missed the news, Saturday is booked for me, so we're uploading Fly on the Wall in pieces almost every day this week, including updates to the Mobile Observatory project before the official announcement. New Zealand took a moderate tremor moments ago, Caribbean above average again yesterday, current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.